Well, modelers, do you remember the one the 350 scale Titanic? When this model came out, it was huge. At least it was to me when I was a kid. And it was very detailed at the time. So, welcome to part six of my Trumpeter Titanic model build. And with this video, we're going to discuss the rudder. Now, on the rudder of the old 350 scale, it's very simple. You just put it on the pegs. And you had now a moving rudder. Now, why the trumpeter didn't do the same thing, I don't know. But now instead of a nice functional rudder that gave some movement, now we have this huge rudder, but it's just meant to be glued straight on to the model. So I decided I'm going to try to make this a moving rudder not going to be re remote controlled or anything but it's going to be moving just like the old 350 scale so let's check out and see what I did okay YouTube modelers the first thing I did <clears throat> was I decided that I'm only going to drill holes through this mount and this mount of the rudder assembly and the reason for that is here is the drill bit I'm using I don't know if you can see that but that is a tiny sucker now this is a 76 gauge drill bit and the equivalent size in millimeters is it is 0.51 millimeters now the reason I didn't use my millimeter drill set was those drill bits are even shorter than this so I just decided to use this and when I put it in I could drill all the way down to, to the second mounting support there with no problem and I just used the pin vise to do this by hand so it took a little while to do it but I made sure I was centered and then I did the same thing to the rudder. So the rudder has the same holes all the way down. And I stopped and I did not go through this mounting support. So now I had the holes centered for the lower two. And then I now I'm capable of just using a brass 0.5 millimeter rod and then I'll just cut the pieces to length and put a section here and then a section down in here and that will give me enough stability to have a rudder that's going to be moving around instead of just drilling the or gluing this together and have it just a stationary rudder but you can see there's no mounting pins here, no mounting pins here that you can use like on the old 1 to 350 scale model. So let me put that together and then I'll show you the end result. Okay, modelers, I'm back. So I have now attached the rudder to the hull with some pins. And essentially all I did was I just used this 0.5 millimeter brass rod and I just cut it into the little size pieces that I needed to fit into the last rudder supports. And these rudder supports, just the last two. So I pinned this one and I pinned this one. And then what I did is I put a little super glue underneath at the bottom on both of these supports 
to keep the brass rod from falling out. And the result is I now have a freely moving rudder. It doesn't have any play in it, so it's in there pretty solid. So it just moves nice and freely, just like on the old 1 to 350 scale Titanic. And I don't want to take full credit for this idea. Uh, the idea came from another modeler who is doing a remote controlled version of this model and his YouTube channel is the model boat guy and I actually have it up here on the computer right there he's at the top and he has done an amazing engineering feat in putting his rudder onto his hull. And what he did was he did this brass rod combined with a brass tube. And this is the brass tube. I was thinking of doing it, but it, it's beyond my skill. But this is a 0.8 millimeter outside diameter tube with a 0.6 millimeter inside diameter of the tube and then he just put the 0.5 millimeter rod inside that and this is working just great it's just amazing how he did that but you might want to check out his YouTube channel I think it's part three of his build that he goes through that the other modeler that is doing a remote controlled Titanic model who did a different approach is this modeler from China and you can see it's his channel is RC then it's followed by uh, some Chinese characters and he used if I remember correctly a kit that you can get off of eBay and that kit costs $180 and it's designed for a remote controlled version of this model. It comes with a brass rudder and then a couple other attachments that you can attach to servos inside the hull and make that rudder working remote controlled wise. So that's another approach you can do. I just didn't sp feel like spending $180 for it and I'm kind of cheap. This model costs enough so I went the cheapest route I could go just to get my functioning rudder so those are some options that you can try that's why it's good to just check out all these models that are putting this model together and get some different ideas of how to put this together and you might use some you might not but this is my approach very simple to get a moving rudder but it's just going to be just like the old 1 to 350 scale just moving by hand Hopefully this gives you some idea of how to do this. And until the next time, have a great day.